Madhavapatnam is a village in India, in the state of Andhra Pradesh, near the Bay of Bengal. It is a charming village with palm frond huts and dirt roads. It is a squalid village with crowded tenements and filthy alleys. It is a place where men go to work each day in the rice fields. It is a place where women go to work each night on the streets. I was working. Working? At night? What were you doing? You don't want to know, child, but I'm afraid you'll understand soon enough. After all, you are almost nine. What is this place, Mama? It's an orphanage, my dear. You're going to live here now. It's for the best. What? You can't leave me here. I'll try to come back for you someday. Please, be the big girl I know you are. You are almost nine. No, Mama, don't leave. Mama! It has been arranged. You will marry your uncle. No, not him, Mama. Please, I don't like him. He's so mean. He will take care of you. Why can't you take care of me? I have other children. I can't feed them all. At least with a husband, you will not starve. But I'm only nine. That is old enough to be married. is a village in India, in the state of Andhra Pradesh, near the Bay of Bengal. It is the birthplace of Novahu, a missionary born to the lowest caste, who overcame the barriers of his birth and left the village, only to feel the call to return to Madhavapatnam to offer help to the women who had so little. <laughs> Knit in the morning. 
The girls knit in the kitchen. They knit in the car. They knit lying on blankets in the backyard while their mother read to them. They knit in the morning. They knit before bed. They knit and knit and knit. And do it with a great big love. Great big love. We did it, Mommy. We raised enough, enough, enough money to buy a sewing machine. Well, you can't stop now. You still have more orders to fill. So the girls didn't stop. By the end of the year, they earned enough money to purchase 10 sewing machines for the cutting and tailoring center. And as the years passed, they raised and donated $30,000 to the mission at Madhavapatna, which by now included an orphanage and a school. Novahu invited her family to come to India to meet their friends, the women of Madhavapatna. they had known only from afar. And as they listened to the women, they heard their stories, and Emma found her calling. There was no food. I had to beg or steal. My father could not find work. He raped me, so I had to marry him. I want a better life. I 
want a better life for my daughter. I am not alone, oh 